for a reason well and, and he did something can you remember what it was John? yeah last week if you didn't catch the show Llewellyn put out a challenge a rack nomination challenge to mindset to do something that is fitting with the whole rack nomination trend that is growing nice. and I wanted to come in good because afterwards I accepted that That's we true. would do That's something true. and we've posted that little clip on our YouTube channel so go and check that out. But now what I want to do is to tell you what we're doing. And it, I'm really excited that we've got a whole lot of things that we're planning. And you're not going to hear the end of Rack. We're going to carry this on. Okay? Well, I like that. Yeah. You see, so, so, so it was a good choice. It was a good it, choice. It, it was a good thing. Okay, so I'm just going to jump over here. So the Mindset Network Rack nomination. So what are we going to do? Well, the first thing that I want to tell you is although Mindset is an NGO, Okay, it's uh, uh, non-profit organisation. Oh, there we go. So and, <laughs> and so we we get on MPO, we should say non-profit organisation. We get funding to do things. Mm -hmm. Okay, public benefit organisation. We get funding to do things, and we go and do projects. Okay, oh, that's nice. But we don't have a lot of money ourselves, so we get people to sponsor us. Okay, which is cool. Of which course, is which cool. is nice. But what we decided. It wasn't a good enough to take funders' money, but what we would do is we would do a special staff project. So everybody that works here and helps everyone out. Everyone that yeah. works here. And guys, there, there are quite a few of us. There's not a huge organization. You might think it's very big, but it's not. There's, there's less than 50 members of staff. Oh, well, that's, that's, I mean, yeah. the help with that is going to be perfect. So, so what, we, what we did was we said, guys, let's put our heads together. What can we do? And we've started to plan the thing. We also put around a hat and we raised some money. So I did some team building for you. So we did some team building. And on top of that, what the CEO then committed to is that any money that the staff put in the pool, yeah. he would double that. So he would make an e like he this, would make man. an equal contribution. That's so if, awesome. so if we raise ten rand for every ten rand that we raised, he would add a ten rand to it. Nice. Okay. So so we've got we've got quite a, a, a nice little stash of money, mm -hmm. and we've started to contact other people to try and grow this because we don't just want to take ten rand. That won't go very far. No, of course. Well, we, we've spoken to some of our friends and to some businesses, and we said, guys, can't you help us because we want to help a school. So w w we've, we've isolated a, a school. We don't want to just confirm it right yet. We've highlighted a school. We're getting our ducks in a row. And hopefully during next week you'll be able to see us going to the school and delivering that stuff. That is to awesome. It. Okay. That so is so, nice. so that's, what, that's what we're really hoping for. In the next couple, before the end of term, yeah. we, we, we're going to go and visit a school take some stuff along to them and, and, and uh, see what we can do with that, oh, just to make a so difference. Cool. I can't so, wait. So, 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 so that's really exciting. But, but then we thought a little bit more. So that's our individual contribution because, Llewellyn, you challenged us as individuals. I challenge mindset, not yeah. your, your sponsors. Yeah, right? yeah you challenge yeah. us. Challenge so, so now then what we thought was let's do something else. So one of the things that we recognize that we're quite good at is that we can broadcast. Yeah. And we've got this channel on various platforms. And so we said to ourselves, we want to see rack nominations going over and over and more and more people finding out about them. And at the, mo at the moment, they're sitting on Facebook page on Change One Thing, Change Everything. And they're sitting on YouTube and they're not all collected nicely. Yeah. So what we said is that anyone that's been rack nominated or anyone that's done a rack nomination and's got a little video clip, we'd like to profile you. Oh, we'd, that's like, nice. we'd like to broadcast that to our audience across all our channels. So <laughs> uh, that's what we want you to do. We want you to take your rack nomination, 
load it to YouTube and do hashtag learn extra rack nomination, R-A-K, and then put your name. Okay? So whether it's Nando's, whether you're a corporate or you're a kid, whatever you've done, you can That's it. hashtag learn extra R dot A dot K and then your name, load it to YouTube, and we will get it from YouTube. Oh, nice. so, so then that will tell us that you're giving us permission to broadcast it. Of okay? course, yes. So, so it might be that the YouTube version isn't so good and you're in Johannesburg and you'd like to get it to us. So I'd like to give you an email address. Why don't you send an email address to info at mindset.co.za. It's quite easy. No, it's info at mindset.co.za. So guys, let's make this thing expand. Of course, because the more kind we give, the better life it becomes. Absolutely. And this doesn't mean that it's just for the people that have done something. What I want to challenge our viewers out there is send us their rack nomination, what they're going to do. Just like Llewellyn challenged us, yes. you've got a holiday <laughs> coming up, go and do something. And it could be, uh, we saw one on, on Facebook and on YouTube a little while ago, where it was just somebody seeing with all this rain around, yeah. knew that there was somebody selling newspapers on the, on the corner of the, of the road. And what she went and did, she made a sandwich and a hot cup of, uh, of soup and she took it down to the person. Well, that's all you need. That's all. That's and all, you all need. we need is a photo or a little view, a video, even on your cell phone, and post it to us. And, and we'll get people to encourage and motivate other people to do just as exactly. well. It's a now, small thing goes a long way. Exactly. I mean, to us it's small, to them it's huge. It's all and, that matters. And it's about creating that culture of change. I agree. Make a change and we'll change the world. I agree with that. That's Isn't so cool. that great? That is awesome. Are you, are you happy? I'm happy. You, you don't know what you're no, saying. No, no, no. I'm just wanting to see. This is going to go even further. So for the moment, that's our response. But look out. We've got more coming. I like the sound of that. Um, I'm impressed. Small little thing that I ask, and I get this huge mountain out of things. What more could a man want? Llewellyn, thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming, John. Okay, so cheers. What, you, you need to go. I need to teach. It's simple. <laughs> no, 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 no. You, 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 it's supposed to be no, about it's me. my time now. I've been listening to you guys. It's my time to talk. My tit is how to get a hold of us. Facebook.com forward slash Learn Extra is our Facebook page. At Learn Extra is our Twitter handle. And then you can download the show notes, the videos, and the schedules on learn.mindset.co.za. And if you want to stand a chance, wait, let me see. Just go there to our Facebook page. If you want to stand a chance, it's there, Mindset. There, just, yeah. Just push it? Just, yes. Look at then, that. Then go up, go up. Go up. If I can find up. Okay, maybe go down, up, down. <laughs> go down, know. up, down. I'll just you see, <laughs> this is why. <laughs> like, I just go to a post. Like, you'll see a post somewhere. A post, post, post. Okay, wait, let there. me. There, boost post? Never. There, post? No, man. <laughs> oh, don't do. You see what I've got to deal with. <laughs> you see what I have to deal with. Never huh? mind, never mind. But it's there. That's what it looks okay, like. Okay, but they can see you in a pair of tummy tackies. There it is. Yes. Ta I there want to is. tell them about that. There's a picture on our Facebook page. It's right there, but we just can't scroll down or up or whatever it is. All you need to do is caption that picture, and then you'll stand a chance to win a pair of tummy tackies. The three best captions with the most likes, so you get all your friends to like the caption, will win a pair of tummy tackies, and then we'll announce the winners on Friday. So check out our Facebook page on Friday, and we'll announce the winners. You can teach now. Because that it's not, doesn't want to work. It's not working. Never mind. Thanks, anyway. It's fine. For you, you need anything, my son. You move mountains. Anything. Right. Now, now that we're back and it's all about me again, because I have to try and grab your, in, your, your attention because they just want to steal it, right? Let's have a look. We are going to look at something quite nice, and the importance of invertebrates, right? So it's the importance. Now, what I've done is I've put into columns, well, into table form, because it's always nice, it's quick to learn, it's quick to understand. So I'm gonna run through these quickly, and then I'm gonna shoot through and uh, give, give you some questions. Huh? What do you think, Looney? Yes, that's cool. She better be listening. No, I am. I you, am. True, true, she's been better, she's been good. Hey, huh, Looney? Yes. You've been good, okay, let's have a look at the first one. Before we go anywhere, I've always gotta give you a challenge question, because challenges are good. Right, there we go. Insects, um, yum. Starts. It's going. <laughs> it's <Insects> going. <laughs> <laughs> possess uh, open blood circulatory system. I'm not going to explain what that is, right? In actual fact, I am. <laughs> okay. The heart pumps blood into the body cavity 
where it bathes the tissues and organs, right? So it pumps it in and it like there over the tissues and organs. Hey, how's that? <laughs> you, you understand, girl? Yes. Right? Mammals, on the other hand, you know what a mammal is, Linny? Mammal. Yeah. Warm-blooded. Warm-blooded. I like that. Aren't we mammals? We are. Yeah, we are mammals. Good girl. So mammals, right, they have a closed blood circulatory system, right? And that means that the blood is always put into like veins and arteries. It's in a closed vessel. It never leaves the, uh, the space of heart, right? The heart pumps the blood into a series of vessels throughout the whole body. It's just the difference between a closed and an open blood system, right? Now, that's just a little bit of information. Now what I want, if I can get it, there we go. The question is, what are the advantages and the disadvantages of an open blood circulatory system? And there's the main thing, open. Open, like, like not closed. Okay. There we go. That's the first question, part of the question. The second one is, the mammal's blood is red. And the insect's blood is colorless. Explain the reason for this difference. Hey, Lenny, can you do that? Explain. Explain the difference why man or mammals, okay, mm -hmm. blood is red, but insects are see-through. Are, are insects mammals? No. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Right. <laughs> you got the question. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> We're going to start off with the most simplest things. And the most simplest one we're having a look at is, of course, your periphery or sponges. Right. Now, what I've done is I've done the body plan and then I've done the importance. Okay. So the body plan, of course, is asymmetrical, means it's not, you can't cut it in any way. Okay. Always looks different everywhere else. Then they have two layers, which means... They are diploblastic, right? Two layers. You've got the epidermis and the endodermis. Simple, easy, we know the stuff. Okay? Also, <coughs> they acelomate. What's a coelomate? I'm just going to say A means it has not got one. So it hasn't got a coelo. Okay? Next one, no cephalization. Wow. Hey, Looney, what do you think? Cephalization. My English can be bad at times, but that word is huge. Mm -mm. You, you can. How about this? Looney, can you please explain to me what cephalization is? Why do you think I'm going. Mm, mm, I don't because know. Because I know you have people that love you and you can get help. Yes. Right. Kay. My nation. Okay, so, so Looney's going to tell me what <laughs> cephalization is, right? And no blood system, which means they don't have something to transport blood on the inside. Right. Now, the importance of them. Now, this is. This is very important. Everything on earth has a job. Okay? First of all, sponges form part of the habitat for many organisms. Right? What, what does that mean? It means that, first of all, they act as filters. Right? They filter and remove bacteria and minerals from the water. So bad things and good things, but they remove bad things, which is always a bonus. And second of all, right, they actually create places for fish to hide. Right? Okay, so that, that's what it is, right? The minerals of the waste, which they are found in. So they just keep it. Next thing. We're going to have a look at synodaria. Now, what is synodaria? It's not a big thing. Let's see. Acelomate. Doesn't have a celo. Right? Radial symmetry. Okay? You can cut it in a circle. Next thing. Diploblastic. I'm just repeating myself all the time. Have you noticed? Okay, we've also got an outer uh, uh, a mesoderm with a jelly-like inside it. Okay, this jelly-like uh, uh, um, jelly part, right, is found in the, in the mesoglia, just in the mesoglia, that area that's called the mesoglia. Last, l lastly, there is a no blood system again. Okay, so these are simple, they don't have blood systems. The most simplest organisms, right? What is their job? Source biochemical, right? They help. Can you believe some of them? They're trying to help with this big thing called cancer. Okay, so we use them to try and sort out cancer. Firstly, second of all, we say the coral, right? They create a habitat as well. Okay, sometimes they create a habitat. They um, make sure that animals are protected when they, instead of getting killed or eaten by other things, so they do the same thing. Okay, so they protect animals. So it's very, very important. 
we have a look at the next one. Sorry, I'm, I'm going through this because it's stuff you should know. I'm just making sure you understand it. Next animal we're going to have a look at is this huge word. Uh, Looney, do you know what that word means, what it says? Huh? I love it. Don't you love it? <laughs> Come on, try it. I'll leave it there. Let her what? Platy I'm going to leave it to try it quietly. <laughs> I'll leave you to try it quietly and I'll explain it. Right, here we go. First of all, they have an oh. anterior and a posterior end. Right? That's the first thing. Okay, define anterior end, which means it goes through cephalization, which you still need to help Luni with. Right? Nextly, they triploblastic and acelomate. Same thing. Okay? Then you get some ha are parasitic and have poor developed digestive system. Some, not all. Some of them have poor digestive systems. Then you have, you have the ones that are free living, have well developed bronchi uh, um, bronchies, right? Which that and di digestive tracts. Okay, so they got well developed. So some are well developed, some are not. Okay, parasit parasite ones don't. Now, what is the point of these guys in nature? Looney, can you tell me, tell me the name yet? Okay, mm -mm. it's called a flatworm, and the big word for flatworm is platyelmenthes. Right? That's it, nice and easy. It's plat platyelmenthes, right? It can be carnivore or scavenger, right? Simple, it can be a scavenger or a carnivore, almost like a lion, right? Scavenger or a, li or a carnivore. Okay, it has mainly, it mainly feeds on bacteria and small invertebrates, right? And protozoa, protozoans, should I say. Okay, a few species, actual fact, a few species of herbivores they also eat. Okay, so they do eat herbivores now and then. Many flatworms are parasites. Now, can you, can you mention any parasites, Lynn? Do you know any parasites that uh, we can look at when we're talking about humans, for instance? Humans. Yeah. Give me, a, give me a, a parasite. A parasite. Human. Flea. Yeah, we can look at flea, but tapeworm. I'm looking at a flatworm. Ta a tapeworm. A tapeworm. You know what a tapeworm is? Mm. Yeah, it's a worm. It's flat and it's got those teeth on the side. Mm. Right. Pigs. Pigs. <laughs> 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 I like, she's right. They come from pigs. That's mm -hmm. impressive. Lee. Yes. I'm impressive. Right. I know what cephalization is. What is it? It's considered an evolutionary trend whereby nervous tissue over many generations becomes concentrated toward one end of an organism. Who was that? It's Mokove. Say that again. Say no, no, what? The name. Oh, Mokove. Mokove. Mm. Wow. That is the best answer I have ever heard. Mm. You're making Looney look smart. So smart. Very nice. In other words, it's the development of a brain. How cool is that? Nice and simple. It's just making up of a brain. Okay, yes. we're starting to get a brain. Yes. Okay. Um, you know, you get your tapeworm, for instance, your bilharzia, you get your flukes, right? Those are your flat, flatworms, your normal, simple flatworms. Right. Let's have a look at the next one. The next one, we've got analytes. Now, what I'm going to do is <coughs> I'm going to start going through it as quick as I can. Nice and simple, right? So you're going to get your analytes. And your analytes are actually round worms, right? they segmented body parts. And a nice way to look at uh, segmented body parts, here's the word, metameric. Uh, it is right, metameric, right? Those things there means that its body has got different sections. Okay, it's segmented the body there, segmented, okay, and these things, they're very good. For example, your earthworm, your earthworm creates, gets rid of dead things that's in the soil. It creates tunnels so that the so soil can get aerated, right? It produces fertilization because once it eats, it's got to get rid of its feces somehow, right? So it's very good. Then you get the next one called a leech, for instance. There's, there's a leech. Oh, sorry. Let's do it that way. A leech. It's parasitic, which means that it sucks blood. Do you know that we used to, in the old days, if you were sick, they used to do this thing called leeching. Do you know what le leeching is, Looney? Mm -mm. Leeching. Mm -mm. That's where you lie on the bed. You're sick, right? You go to your mom, oh, I don't feel well. And you lie on the bed. She goes, I'll be there now. I'm just going to go get our friends, right? And then what she does is she comes in with this bucket. She's swinging along. She's laughing. And you're like, uh-oh. 
And what she does, she goes, lie down. It's not going to hurt much. And she grabs this leech. And it's, a big, it's about the size of my thumb. And she sticks it on your back. And this leech bites it and starts sucking your blood out. Right? Now, what they, they believed is it's sucking out all the bad stuff. That's what it used to be called leeching. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm happy with my doctor. Hey, what do you think? Yeah, Lizzie? no, it's fine. Hey? It's now, fine. the actual fact, they've proved that it actually does, does work. Hey, how cool is that? Mm. <laughs> so, we had that. Okay? The next one, which I think I'm going to have a look at, is your arthropoda. Now, these notes are available to you, so listen to me carefully. Your arthropoda are divided into certain sections. You've got your insects, right? You've got your, ana your, your arachnids. You've got your crustaceans. And you've got, what's the other one? Arachnids, crustaceans, insects, and there should be another one. Uh, uh, millipedes, if I'm not mistaken. Let me get there. Crustaceans, arachnids, arachnids. There's one more. Ah! Myriapoda. Right, that's those little things with a thousand legs. You know what they used to call them? It's the other thing I show, showed you the other day. Centipede. A centipede and a millipede. Very nice. Now, all of those have got an exoskeleton, right? And that's what makes them arthropods. I don't know if you've ever seen um, King Arthur and the Round Tables. Do you know what that is? No. Looney? King Arthur and the, round and, the, and the Knights of the Round Table. What are you talking about? In a, a movie. Come help me out here. No. What did they used to have in the olden days when they went to war? They had an outfit, am I right? And, yeah. That's still outfit, you know that? Mm. And they say that the best king was King Arthur. Okay. Now, arthropods, that's the best way to look at it, those animals have got an external skeleton made of chit chitin, right? And those things, they walk like, like they've got an armor on, okay? Like those steel armors, so do these things. Now, that's what why I would say they call them an uh, uh, arthropoda, right? Luni, I think we need a break. Do we? Yeah, I think we need a break. Okay, we can do that. I've just got so many things to do. Okay. Hi there, hi there, Lungisa, Mohave, Dumsani, Tandi, Bongs, Martinique, and Martinique also wants to say hi to Kim and Lindre, and Uitumelo, Tabete, and Polani, Libya, and Apiwe is somewhere there. Now it's scrolling down. Okay, before we, let's just do this. You see, I want to say hello to all you guys. And then Lesejo wants to say hello to all the 11A2s of Ekangala. It's Charlotte, Makuki, Audrey, and Rafilwe. So with that, we're going to take a break. So don't go anywhere. We'll see you after this. <laughs> Welcome back. Hello, Tula Sunjanga. I said, I let him see a term, but I be so when Zim Klanga Noble Mutau Yonela and Yonela, you're asking, How can you get us on our Facebook page? You just like the page. Yeah, that's simple. Facebook.com for slash learn extra. And then, no, not even I got that. Lungi, so yeah, Dumsani and Tandy Bongs. Yes. And thank you so much, guys. You guys are saying you love us. You love how we're always crazy on the show. Thank you so much. We love our fans. Oh, definitely. <laughs> De guess what? <laughs> I've just become a computer guy. I've learned how a computer works. Thank goodness for people to come and help me. But yeah, look at that gorgeous thing. Right. This is the Facebook page. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Now, what we have. Is on this page, if I can uh, look at it. See, now it's working. Ah, look at that. Over there, can you see this piece, right? That is the challenge question, right? Now, the challenge question is put there so that you can answer it. But you guys asked for it, so we did it. We put it in the, the comment place, right? So if you have a look, the question is there. We've put it into the chat, right? Now what you have to do is you need to answer the question. I want you to put it in there so that I can see whether you guys are getting it wrong or right and how many people are getting it wrong or right. But please remember, okay, I was told that this happens. Me, I would have said, where's the question gone? But every time somebody comments on it, right, or gives me their answer, this question moves down. So go right down to the bottom and go find the question. Hey, Looney? Yes. See, I would have couldn't find that question. There's no doubt about it. Right. 
And the second thing I was having a look is that if I move it up, all the way up, the likes, 70,000. It's on 26 now. And 26. Well, yeah, it's 25 because I haven't refreshed. Am I right? Yes. Right? 70,026. Come, guys, I'm sure we can better that. Hey, what do you think, Lumi? Of course. Let's, let's try, if we can. 70,000, which is here, 70,500 by the end of tonight. Hey, what do you think? I, I think you can do it. Of course we can. Of course you can. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, if 70,000 like it, what's 70,500? Hey, Lenny? Mm -hmm. So come on, give it all share you got. Share the page. Share the page. That's it. I share like it. Share the page. It's not share the pain. <laughs> share the page. 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 Mm. Nice. Okay, can we get back to work? Of course we can. I like it. It is a gorgeous page, isn't it? Yeah. And gorgeous my feet page. there. Tommy. Tommy. Those are my feet. It's Tommy's feet, not yours. It's mine. But anyway. <laughs> Very pretty, Lini. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's carry on. <laughs> right. <laughs> what I've done, <laughs> I've given you a question on this line. Okay, so let's have a look at it. First of all, on this question, right, I'm going to use pink for the ladies because it was pretty Tommy's on a pretty set of feet. Right. It says here, <coughs> the diagram below represents, ooh, look at this. A cladogram. How nice is that word, cladogram? It's how things have evolved. Right, a cladogram, which is a phylogenetic tree. Okay, and it shows you the relationships and the characteristics and how things change. Right, so that's what it all does. And then, of course, we've got the letters A and D indicate, right, indicate the characteristics shared by the different phyla of animals. Okay, so... Let me bring this down. So all the questions have got to do with this uh, 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 phylogenetic tree. Right, so if I have a look at it, we start off here with nothing, right? Well, there was something, but uh, we haven't put it there. And all of a sudden we go, and the first thing that was made, right, is your porphyria, right? So this animal that was coming here, he was walking... And there was four of them, or how many is there? One, two, three, four, five. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There were seven of us, right? And we're all walking, and one says, I'm not going to be your friend anymore, and he moves over. Hey, Luni, am I right? Mm. And he becomes the porphyria. Then the next six carry on walking, and the other one says, ah, I'm not interested, and becomes synodaria, and he moves off. And all of these become different, right? Because they become different in their phylum and their characteristics and what they do, but they all came from the same place. You understand where I'm coming from? Okay, so let's have a look at it. Now, the questions they're going to ask is about this specific thing. And if you notice, we stopped at chordata, which means they have a spinal cord. Right, they've got a backbone. Okay, so let's have a look at the questions. Here we go. Which characteristic is shared by all the organisms in the animal kingdom According to the cladogram, what characteristics do they all have in common? Okay, that means, remember I made a little pink mark, and I said we started from this nothing part here. Right, can you remember it? Remember it is something. And this is a multicellular thing. That's what they're made up from, right? A multicellular thing. I think it was multicellular. In other words, lots of different cells. Right. Let's go on to the next one. Down, 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 down. Which letter, so please don't write the name, right? You don't have the name, but write the letter, okay? It says, represents each of the following characteristics. Each of the following characteristics with respect to the blood plan. Okay, oh, the, the body plan. Right, very simple. We're going to have a look at special characteristics and we're going to say where it belongs. Okay, first one. Looney, what's this word? Cephalization. Cephalization. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Meaning a? Mm. One word? Mm -hmm. the, w the hair. The what? You said the brain. The clever girl, the brain. <laughs> very nice. I want to make sure that you know. I would you could be thinking about hair. Yeah. You could be thinking, <laughs> I would think about hair. <laughs> right. 
So, let's see. Cephalization means starting to get a brain. Now, peripheria, not a chance. Okay? Synodaria, not a chance. We need to start making a nerve system. Okay? And a nerve system, of course, comes from the word B, which is plati just before platial menthes, which is your flatworms. Right. Can you remember that one? The flatworms, all of a sudden, they've got a special head. Can you remember we asked Looney to do it just before platial menthes, where they've got a section for the head? Okay? That means cephalization is happening. We're starting to get a brain. That's the first good characteristic that Looney will remember for life. Triploblastic. Okay. Triploblastic. Where would that come from? Did synodaria have triploblastic things? Nah. I remember when I told you about plat platial menthes, I said, first thing is they're going to have its brain, right? And they're going to have a triploid body. So it's got to be B. It's got to, between, what, what they're trying to ask you here, okay? I'm going to make it yellow again. They want to know where does certain characteristics, when does it start developing? So what they're saying is, with the cephalization, somewhere in this area did we start getting cephalization or a brain. Okay? Now they want to know, where would you get a triploblastic animal? Right? So I would say round about the same place, which means if I touch the right one, no, there we go, it's B. Okay, so now that I've showed Looney how to do this, do you think she could help me out, Chan? I think she could. Help you with what? Yeah, well, a question, Looney. Okay. Okay, so I've, I've decided to give her a question I haven't even mentioned yet. <laughs> okay, CeeLo. What is a CeeLo? <laughs> okay, now, <laughs> she <laughs> smiles and laughs like there's a problem, right? Where do we get a CeeLo? Okay, now, you've got to remember that a plat platial menthes right, is not an acelomate, okay, and it's not a coelomate either. It's got this funny big word, right, and it means false coelo. Looney wants to know what that word is. Am I right, Looney? Because yes. she told me she doesn't have a clue. Yes. She wants to know what a false coelo is. So send it to Looney, make her look clever again, because you did with cephalization, which I was impressed with, right? Hey, Looney? Yes. So let me hear that answer and, and let's bring it, right? Now, if I said to you that that one's got a false celo, right? That one's got a false celo. So we've got no celo, so let's just do this. We've got no celo, no celo, no celo. Well, it becomes a false celo, should I say, a false celo. That means we're starting to go into real celos, okay? Number C, I would say it's C. So but before annelids and arthropods, we've got, I would say, a C lump. So it'll be C. Nice and easy. Next, next one. Bilateral I've symmetry. I've got it. You got it. What is it? Means true. This is from Tabete. C lump means true body cavity. Very nice. A true body cavity. And what does it mean for a false, a false body cavity or a false C lump? So you've given me what a coelom is. Now you need to give me what a false coelom is. Okay. Okay, so you are right with a true one. That was coelom. I want to know what false coelom is. Okay, it's... It's also got coelomate in it. And it's... F uh, uh, if I give it to you, then if I give you a clue, then I'm giving it away. It's fine. Okay, it's similar like soup. Okay. What? Remember soup and coelom at the end. Let's see if you can come up with an answer. Right. Bilateral symmetry, which means you cut you down the middle only one way. So, can you cut... This one has got no symmetry. Am I right? No, man. Okay. This one has got no, no symmetry. This one here. No symmetry. This one got radial symmetry. Platial menthes is a flat worm. Right, which means it's got a head and it's got a through gut and it ends down at the bottom. And if we cut it down in the middle, whatever's on the right looks like it's on the left. Okay, which was not very clever because whatever's on the left is on the right. Right, so from there, from plat platial menthes, just before platial menthes, you're going to get bisymmetry. Right, 
Bilateral symmetry. Right, there it is. Come on, come on, touch it. Bilateral symmetry. Okay, last one, segmented. Right, segmented, you will never get in a flatworm. Okay, segmented comes from analids. Analid means segmented worms. That's what analid means. Right, and if I have a look at flat or segmented worms, it would be C. Nice and easy. Let's have a look. See, I'm clever, aren't I? Okay, vertebral column. Where would a vertebral column go? Luni, tell me where you get a vertebral column when it comes to A, B, C, D. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, what? A vertebral column. That thing that's keeping you upright like this mm -hmm. and got your nerves down. Where would it be? I don't know. Bad. Where would it be? Bad. Which is number? D. D. Very nice. I'm impressed. I couldn't help her any more than that. <laughs> <yo>. <laughs> right? So, Looney, it's very nice. D. Okay? And the last one. Symmetry. Okay, what does symmetry mean? It means that it's symmet symmetrical. So, if we have a look, it is A, which means it's right over here. Okay, very similar, because you can get radial symmetry, you get bilateral symmetry. Okay, the other one, asymmetry, means there's no symmetry. Cool. We are happy with this. Looney, you happy? You understand? Has anybody got that answer for me yet? A lot of people. A lot of people. Let me hear. Okay, Lindo Gulle, Khalifa, Dagalo, Sesh, Kumazo, and Apiwe. Yes. Acidocylomate. Sorry? <laughs> say it again, say it again. No, 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 no. Let's hear it. You were right. Is it right? They know it's cedar. It's not C. It sounds strange. Remember, I said soup, hey? Soup. Pseudo. Pseudo. Very Pseudo good. What's it called? Pseudocylomate. Pseudocylomate. Pseudo I'm impressed. Pseudo -celo mate. Can you understand why I couldn't give you a clue? If I go pseudo and the left is celo mate, it doesn't help. Okay. Right? Pseudo celo mate. So, yes. what I'm going to do is I've got some more questions on this specific thing here for you. Okay? And, Looney, if I'm not mistaken, this is available to everybody. Yes. Right? The link is on the page. Of course, the link is on the page, eh? Hey? Mm. So, you've got this note. So, what I've done is I've made sure there's questions on it. There's more questions on it. Okay? So what I want you to do, I want you to go and go get those questions because straight after the break, okay, I'm going to answer some of your questions that you've asked for, okay? And lastly, I'm going to go through that challenge question. But I'm going to have a look if the challenge question was answered by some of you. So I'll see you after the break. Helene? All right. Um, Kumoso wants to say hi to his group, Young Blood. And then um, Paul is saying hello to Ravana Guvani. Hello there. And then I want to say hello to Tammy, Jezre, Klotlo, Kumoto, Balesa, and Sylvia, Litabo, Khalifa, Emmanuel, and yes, Linda Kutle. Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Let's take a short break, but don't go away. We'll be back straight after this. Hi there, hi there, hi there. Welcome back, guys. Llewellyn. Look how gorgeous this is. Now, what I've done is I've actually put the page on here for you, right? Because I said to you, the challenge question is right. There, right? By the way, I can see that we have 38, which means we're getting there. Come on. Slowly but surely. I would have clicked like. 500. I like myself. Yes. Yeah, I like myself. So let's, come on, let's get that up. 500, 500. 500, that's yes. it. Now, challenge question, and then we've got the post. Now, the question, okay? Let me go to the question. There it is. Whoa, no, we didn't even get to the question. There, I've got them all for you. Challenge question, there it is. Right, first question was, if I can get to the pen, right, is what are the advantages and disadvantages of an open blood circulatory system. Right, so this is where I made the mistake last time. Okay, and go back over there, and there we are, right? There is a question, and stupidly, 
Right? I'm going to say stupid me. Because the question is posted right there. Right. So, there it is. Now, I've had a look at the answers, some of them. And uh, Shad Shadrach, I like that one. I'm going to use your middle name. <laughs> oh, okay. <Wow. laughs> I like that. Uh, how would you say that name? Mukave. Sorry? Mukave. Mukave. I like your answer, right? Because you've given everything you've told Shadrach. me about how... Uh, it is Shadrach, <laughs> hey? Yes. Yeah, so I like that name, <laughs> right? <laughs> Mukave, you are right. Right? When it comes to an open blood system, what happens is all the blood runs over the, or the organs, right? And it means that it can get more oxygen all over the place. Okay? Disadvantage is, is that with a, you can't get all that oxygen to deeper tissues. So the only way you're going to do that is by having a closed cir circulatory system. Right, so just for the record, let me see how many people... Let me refresh one more time. Hey, Looney, what do you think? Okay. Refresh one more time, because if we refresh, then it tells me up to date where everything is. Come on, come on, that's it. There we go, because I want to make sure. 19, there we go, see? 19 people, see them all. Look at this. From McCorvey, all the, come on, all the way down. Look at those people all answering it. Okay, so if you want the correct answer quickly, McCorvey, I'm impressed. Right, so let's have a look at the answer that I will give. Okay, please don't forget the second question, which is mammals' blood is red, insects are see-through. Why? And Looney's going to tell us that answer because she says she knows. She's been bragging the whole time. And I said, let me know. And she goes, no, it's going to be a surprise. And you know what I mean? <laughs> so... I always put you on the spot, my lady. <laughs> right, so I've pushed it and I opened it. As you said, right, it is very simple, right? Well, where am I? Yes. Wait, 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 wait. Where am I? Where am I? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. It, chain, it exchanges nutrients and oxygens very easily to the body when it washes over it. Okay, so if you look, it exchanges the gases, nutrients, and excretory products, right? It, it gets rid of them and it accepts things much easier, right? Because the stuff gets bathed over the whole organ, right? That's the first thing. And, and, it's, and it's very nice and it's very easy, right? No interventing Membranes, inter interfering membranes, should I say. So it doesn't need to go through this membrane and, 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 and make the process slower. Do you get what I'm trying to say? But as I said, the disadvantage, of course, when you do, w when you need, a, when you have, you need a special breathing system, okay, is required to be able to do this. And second of all, deeper lying tissues cannot get bathed. Right? Because other things are covering them. So we need something to go in there nice and deep to actually give those tissues the um, whatever they need. Okay, so the gases, the nu nutrients, get rid of the waste products and all of that type of stuff. Now, the second part. Looney, let me know what you think about the second part. Uh -huh. Okay, the second part was that mammals' blood is red and insects are see-through. Explain why. Because I said, because mammals, insects aren't mammals. Insects, <laughs> I know. <laughs> mammals have blood, <laughs> so do insects. But then you said the blood, mammals' blood is red. But why? Because you see, life science is not just about because I said so. <laughs> right? My mom says that. Because I said so. You will do it because I said so. Now, me, I'm giving you the opportunity to tell me, because I'm sure your mom said the same thing. Right? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, terrible, hey? Yeah. My mom said... Because I said so. Now, I'm telling you, why? Explain it to me. Give me the insight, the knowledge that I want from you, Looney. Mm -mm. Unavailable for comments. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to win? <laughs> Come on, Looney. <laughs> <laughs> it's very simple. <laughs> I knew you, Looney. Insects have no pig... Uh, what's it? No pigment for transporting oxygen. Okay. Okay. Now, what that means, okay, this system has got small little tubes that's running past, right, tracheal tube, tubes, which 
supplies the respiratory gases directly to the tissues and cells. Okay? It takes it directly to the cells and the tissues. Right? With mammals, it's different. Mammals, we've got this thing that we actually need to transport oxygen in. Now, it's not the blood, the blood cells itself, right, that is, um, that is red. Right? I know we call them red blood cells, but Looney, why do we call them red blood cells? What gives them that red color? Oxygen. No. <laughs> I don't know. What? It's because they made a joke and somebody was embarrassed and they all got red in the face. And see, now she looks at me as if I'm mad and she's red <laughs> oxygen. Do you see red oxygen flying around the, the room here? But like it makes sense. Like when you get oxygen, you turn red. No, that's blood, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> Between me and you, right? <laughs> What actually happens? No, please don't ask me any more questions now. Is a, is a blood cell <laughs> carries this protein molecule called what? Hemoglobin. And she asks me not to ask her any questions. No, do question. you know why I know? Why do you Because I'm anemic. So I anemic. know. Yes. What is anemic? I like iron. You like, you like iron? Lack. You lack iron. <laughs> lack iron. I was just about to worry about all the iron in, in my this blood. Place. So, <laughs> yeah, nice. my HB levels are low. HB levels? Hemoglobin, man. I'm, I'm helping the kids out. Yes, that's why I know all of this. Now stuff. she knows about hemoglobin. Yes. And what does hemoglobin do? What does that protein do? Uh, transports oxygen. Of Very course nice. I do that. <laughs> and the hemoglobin gives the blood cell its. Mm. It's mm. Hmm? What is it? Color. Color. It's color. It's <laughs> pigment. And that is why it's red. Mm. She looks very surprised. No. But uh, I'm supposed to be surprised. <laughs> yeah. huh? Hemoglobin. Yes. She gets this big word, but she can't tell me about cephalization. I know myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lily. There's got to be questions from my, my, my children. Hey, yes. What do you call it? My children. Ah, uh, you know what? Okay. One question. One quick one. Oh. Okay, um, what is the difference between a blind gut and a through gut? A blind gut, remember, it goes in the mouth and back out the mouth. Okay, it's only one entrance for, for ingestion and e e get, getting rid of, should I say. And a through gut, okay. in here, out the back. Hey, what do you think? Mm -hmm. And then... Okay, Lib give me another question. Libby is asking, can you please describe the difference between the digestion in a sponge and an anal... What? Analyte. 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 Analyte, remember, is a, a worm, right? So it goes in and goes through a whole digestive system and then back out. And the other one was a sponge. A mm. sponge, they soak in the water through the top, it goes into the bottom, it gets zapped by cells and then pulled into it through diffusion. Hey, okay. How's that? Now, what that was the, the quick one. Wait, what Wait we got no time, Looney. James is saying we can. James what is, is the saying difference we can. between closed blood system and open blood system? Closed blood system, the blood never leaves the vessels in the body, right? And the open blood system, the thing pumps, it gets <laughs> to the end of the blood vessel, it goes all over the, the, the stuff, it washes over them, and then gets like a vacuum cleaner, sucked, sucked back into the cell, and then all the way out. Hey, what do you think? Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, it's hopefully over. I helped you. <laughs> it's over now. It's over. It's over now. No I'm going to miss you guys. Yeah, hey, until term two, hey. Yeah, until term two. <laughs> yeah. I'll be thinking of you. Yeah, I will be <laughs> thinking of you guys. Thank you, Luke. Pleasure. Thank I'll you, see you guys you. soon. Sanele, don't be sad. Hello to you. Now you're saying I'm not saying shout out to you. Hi there. Hi to everyone you say hi to and everything else. Guys, we'll see you in term two. That's it from us. Until then, be safe, study hard. We love you. We do. Ba yes, we do. <laughs> bye, guys. <laughs> bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.